Greetings all! Last Outrider here with the Who Are the Primary Space Marines video. I'm trying to do it again. The last time apparently there was no sound. Which is okay! Because I didn't like that video. So let's talk about it here. Thing one about the Primary Space Marines <clears throat> is that it's not a new idea. I don't know why I shock so many people when they ask me, what do you think of the Primary Space Marines? And I say, I think the Primary Space Marines have been around since 2003, so it's a lot time they finally released rules for them. That's, that's what I think. Okay. And people are like, what? It's like, it's serious. I, I'm... As far as I understood it, back in um, the early 2000s, the first uh, Primaris Marines were supposed to be in the, in the Nova Legion. But <clears throat> then they had this Eye of Terror campaign, if anybody remembers that, where the, uh, the whole um, 40K community and Battlefleet Gothic community were supposed to take part in these battles which were to shape the outcome of uh, the 40K universe, or galaxy. Um, and they specifically said that there would be rewards for the side that saw overwhelming victories, or whatever the results will be, will be written in the annals of 40K history. <clears throat> The problem with that was, is <laughs> it pretty much ended up as a stalemate. People expected the Space Marines to kick Chaos's ass back into the Eye of Terror due to the overwhelming number of Space Marine players compared to Chaos players, but it ended up in a stalemate. Um, Chaos controlled the space around Cadia in the Battlefleet Gothic games. And uh, the, the Imperium controlled Cadia itself in the 40K games. So nothing happened. Now, that being said, uh, reading this new fluff, they did incorporate the other aspects of the game. For example, the Tau had a huge territorial expansion. And this is evident now that that they're growing I, I mean i thought they're going on to their third phase the other thing which interesting is there was the the webway campaign which the eldar took part in against uh the the, the dark eldar which also had some imperial factions able to ally with the eldar since the dark eldar were able to ally with chaos and in this case the Eldar Imperial battles just kicked back the chaos dark Eldar factions and took over or rediscovered I should say vast areas of the webway now they are apparently using these results in this new fluff because the Primarchs came back due to working with Eldar. So they are accepting those results. Um, and we were told that if, if the space, if the Imperium is able to push back Abaddon, they would release rules for Primaris Space Marine chapters. That's 2003, people. It's taken 14 years, so when you ask me, are you excited about this? What do you think about all this new stuff? It's like, it's not new. The figures, you can go see it. This Gravis armor, uh, it wasn't called Gravis armor back then. It was um, Expedition armor or something like that. But there's models of it dating all the way back then with the high gorget covering half the helmet with the smooth helmet that's already there the bolter rifle is already there all of that's already been around for quite some time 
like I said, I think that that's where you're going to find pictures of the Nova Marines. They were the first ones wearing the Gravis armor. So I'm assuming that they were the first ones with Primaris Marines. I think they were also called Praetorian Legions. That, for some reason, that term sounds familiar to me before Primaris Space Marines. But they've been there. Now, <clears throat> as for the Gene Seed, again, this has already been written about. The two books, um, Graham McNeil's and, and Gav Thorpe, and I presume back in 2003, Andy Chambers all worked on this together. But the two more recent books, Outcast Dead and Deliverance Lost, both directly reference new gene seed that was created, <clears throat> or the ability to create new gene seed. Now, now this is where things uh, become divergent from my expectations. Because if you were to ask me, I would have thought, but it kind of, it would have been most logical, but least marketable, if that makes any sense. For the Raven Guard, or the Imperial Fists, possibly, to to first create Primaris Space Marines. That being said, without going off into my next video, which is the return of the Primarchs, it's very obvious that uh, the Ultramarines Primarch, uh, Robert, was going to be the first to come back. And yes, I say the first to come back. There will be others. My guess is Vulcan is next. I heard it. I said it here. Um, but so it, it, it kind of makes sense that if, if he's going to be, if Robert's going to be the first Primarch to come back, then the Primaris Marines should be, should be Ultramarines first, you know, not Raven Guard. That would be harder to explain, but Korax, I'm guessing, is coming back too. Um, why is this? Okay, so without a spoiler alert, if you haven't read Outcast Dead or, or Deliverance Lost, I'm, I'm going to talk about them now. Ah, if, which doesn't matter. Go read them anyway. Well, in Deliverance Lost, Korax gets the Primark Project from the Emperor. And interestingly enough, when they're looking over it, they specifically say it would take them like 10,000 years to study the Emperor's research in order to, to, to understand it. This is Primark doing it. Uh, no, this is the bio, this is the uh, biologist doing it. Uh, and look at we are 10,000 years later, it looks like they figured it out. So they're right on schedule from that standpoint. But I don't know who this Archmagos Dominus Belisarius call is. I do know, I expected it to be, uh, well, well, the first two were working on it was Vincent, was Corax, obviously, but also Vincent Six, who was uh, the apothecary for the Raven Guard and also a biologist. But there was also the other one. Uh, 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 what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Magos Genitor Orlandriez Nix? Or something like that? If I remember correctly? He directly had the Primark Project and him, Corax, and Vincent Six work together to create the Raptor Gene Seed, if you remember that. Now, Corex had to go and euthanize all those guys, thinking that 
the gene seed was corrupt, but we know it wasn't corrupt. That was the work of Alpha Legion polluting the gene seed. But the Raptor gene seed created space marines that were bigger, faster, uh, could be implanted in teenagers, and it only required... Uh, what was it, 60 to 90 days for the entire transformation process from human to uh, Astarte or Raptor to take place, that was a success. So if somebody just recreated that, the Raptor gene seed, you've got Primaris Space Marines again, you know, uh... Obviously, if you, you, you the other one was was so was Outcast dead, um, the Thunderer, Tyrant the Thunderer, the the fir, the flag bearer, the the first of the um, Thunder Warriors worked to combine Thunder Warrior Gene Seed with an Astarde Gene Seed, and he succeeded. At the end of Outcast Dead, right? In creating, and once again, the Thunder Warriors um, were, were again twice as big, twice as fast, twice as strong as a typical Astarte. They were even, one of them was able to put down three. Space Marines. They put down a world leader, a um, emperor's children, and one of the uh, third one in the book. But they they fought all of them together, hand to hand, and and won. So that would obviously also be a potential Primaris. Marine, and I'm trying to remember. And they turned, they turned. He he did the 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 thunder. Um, he turned that gene seed over to Dorn. Um, and the Emperor, and the Sigillette. So, I was surprised to hear that this kind of unknown ultramarine guy came up with it but i'm thinking at this point that this guy is kind of an eldar infinity circuit thing going on if that makes any sense so when they say he's lived 10,000 years I'm betting that he's like the collective wisdom of all these other genitars and 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 put together to become an Archmagos. That basically an Archmagos is <clears throat> well, you can't really call it an AI, but basic, but human intellect. Um, basically uploaded into a machine. It could be that. It, since he was, this Archmagos was, was also the one to study the the Necrons technology. Yeah, he was the one that that determined the the warp calming effects of the pylons, of the Necron pylons on Cadia. Is it possible? that he, you know, incorporated some Necron technology into himself. That's what allows him to be around 10,000 years. You get my point? So that, that, that's, that, that's how I see that working. I was, I was kind of surprised on the Ultramarine bent. I thought it was going to come out of Terra from the, the, the Thunder Warrior, a Star Day Gene Seed mix. Or out of Korax with, uh, not Korax, but out of the Raven Guard, you know, with their, with their Raptor gene seed. And those two things could still pop up for all we know.
Um, and finally, uh, there's the Alpha Legion themselves, who have the entire data from the Primarch project, who have probably also, Alpharius and, and, and Omegon, have been studying that for the last 10 thousand years. They might be able to create entirely or recreate the Primarchs, all of them, from scratch. Because we know Alpha Legion didn't turn to chaos, right? They were they were turned by, what is it, the Conclave or something like that? Uh, so they're still there, and they didn't give it to Fabius Bile, and they didn't give it to Horus. They kept it for themselves, so that's still out there, too. But again, I'm not going to talk about the Primarchs now. That's in the next video. I use too much to say about them. So that's what I'm saying. Basically, the Primaris Marines have been around for, for 14 years. Uh, there have already been multiple new gene seeds written in the Horus Heresy novel. Um, it, I'm glad they finally released the rules for them. Until next time, bye.